number one priority for, for members of Congress and for the executive branch is to keep America safe. What we call on, do, on the president to do is define what the mission is. Tell us what the mission is. Tell us what the strategy is. And we'll fashion a budget to fit that strategy. What the president wants us to do is to, to, to find a budget and then cram the mission into it, whether it fits or not. So that is Tom Price now, chairman of the House Budget Committee. Today, lawmakers in both chambers start pouring over the president's $4 trillion budget proposal. Republican Congresswoman Christy Noem out of South Dakota, member of the House Ways and Means Committee. How are you? And I'm doing morning. great. Welcome back. Good based morning. on what you've seen, based on what you know right now, what do you support in a $4 trillion proposal? Well, honestly, Bill, let me be very clear. This is a political document. It's not a governing document. So it's hard to see really where the president's plan is going to work. He historically has proposed more and more spending, thinking it would create jobs, and we just haven't seen the results. So for me, what I'm looking for, and when we come to our hearing at 10 a.m., is somewhere we can agree. I know he wants to do tax reform. Can we agree on how to approach that and make sure that we're not just focusing on businesses, but we help out individuals, the hardworking taxpayers? And also, is he interested in trade? and really making sure that we can get these trade agreements agreed to so we can create more jobs and help our economy grow and become more healthy. You know what he and the White House would say? They call it middle class economics, okay? Yeah. Uh, and he also says it's fully paid for. Um, I, I guess it is if you get all the taxes in response, right? Well, it's not fully paid for. If you look at it, it increases our deficit. Uh, it operates at a deficit of $474 billion. So that's not paid for. It increases our debt. There's no plan to pay down our debt. Plus, he increases taxes and does it so in a mechanism that really is going to hurt our economy, not help it grow. Well, on that point, Paul Ryan called it envy economics. Now, now what, what, what's going on there? What, 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 what's, well, what, what's the battle? This president divides by class. Uh, he pits people against each other. And right now in this country, what we really truly need to have is a unifier. Now, I've reconciled the fact that this guy is not going to be that guy, that all he's going to do is push people against other people, and it's going to hurt our country. What we have to do as a Republican Congress is be responsible, that we have to do the hard work and make sure that we put forward a vision so that we can get a leader that truly wants to solve a lot of the problems people are dealing with. Listen, I talk to people every day who are frustrated, and they are exhausted. They're living paycheck to paycheck, and they know that these kind of budgets aren't really going to give us any results. They're just more of the same, and that's failed in the past. You know, what's a remarkable thing, $18 trillion in debt, mm -hmm. and it's not going down. It's going higher and higher, and the, the national conversation from a few years ago moved away entirely from this. Now, wh why yeah. did that happen? Well, his, uh, his whole legacy is going to be the debt and how he's crippled this country and what he's done on national security. So I'm very concerned about the next two years. I know Republicans have a big job in front of us as a member of the Ways and Means Committee. We are taking it seriously, the fact that we need to try to restore the American dream and give people a hope for the future that we really will put forward some solutions they can wrap their arms around with and know that their kids might have a better opportunity into the future than what we see today. And that one final thing here. You remember the whole battle over the sequester. Yes, um, I do. A lot of Republicans didn't like it, Democrats didn't like it. The president said this about that two years ago. Quickly watch. Mm -hmm. If the sequester is allowed to go forward, thousands of Americans who work in fields like national security, education, or clean energy are likely to be laid off. So apparently that did not happen. But when it comes to the defense budget, is there some room for negotiations well, you know, sequester is certainly not the perfect way to go about reducing our spending. People are learning in this country, unfortunately, to get by with less. Washington needs to do the same. But I would much rather do that through targeted cuts. Look at what our priorities are. National security has to be a priority. Our world is in turmoil. We have more and more threats every day. We need to make sure that we keep our men and women uh, armed, trained, ready to go to protect this country and keep us safe. Christy Noem, thank you for your time. Coming back, okay, out of South Thanks, Dakota Bill. with us from Washington. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks.